welcome to Toffee TV here on YouTube to talk about Everton in Dubai, which has nothing to do with Everton in the community. Everton in Dubai, no. No, uh, no. Um, it's caused a few little ripples, I think, in some quarters of the uh, fan base. Um, I, I don't know whether this has been made worse because of the photos over the weekend of Mason Holgate in a nightclub with a an American person who's supposed to be a star. I don't know who she is. Me appear. I don't actually yeah. do know who she is. Yeah, I don't know who she is. I, I, I sort, sort of do. Okay. Um, with champagne bottles and all the rest of it. I mean, where do you stand, Baz, on breaks in Our the season. Our players pouring champagne over No, them. not on that. Oh. Just on just on breaks in the season going to the likes of Dubai. Yeah, uh, I'm all right with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I've, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of comments like, um, you know, and I'll, you know, yeah, this has been a crap season. Why they've been rewarded mm. and stuff like that. But I don't see it as a reward. No. I see it as a, a training break in a different environment and a chance. We said for a while especially this season more than any yeah. but the amount of players that have come in you know how many times this season has the team just looked fragmented on the pitch just like the Nora team kick offs happening yeah. and there's, there's just like everyone's just in mm. minding my own business and you know we've had Derek Manfield in and he's talked about how a Kendall Chinese just get them all there have a bevy yeah. might be a scrap sometimes or whatever but it sorts it out you know, Verdi and Snowden. Sheedy and Keown. She, yeah, Sheedy and Keown. And Beagley driving motorbikes through hotel windows and stuff. Bladdered and... But Bond and teams as well. That little Bond, yeah. It Bond, yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. Well, they had to use Unibond back. <laughs> they can get his cuts back. But, um, so, it's a chance to get away with everyone without your families and stuff. Do your training. Sit around, get to know mm. each other. Probably more than you do at training. Because yeah. you go to training... It's like anything, isn't it? We'll, it's like we come in here sometimes when we've got more time, we talk, don't we? Other times it's in banging out. And if they're doing that every day, training in two hours off, yeah. come going, and they're gone. It's just a job. Yeah. So you're on for that hour and a half shower, so you like yeah. to go. Whereas I personally believe, no, I believe that it should be like American football. I think they should be contracted Camp. to the club and be at the club all day. Yeah. Like a job. Every, everybody else has to go and work eight hours a day. So. Why shouldn't they have to be around that environment seven, eight hours a day? It's what the, I think it's what it should be done, but this yeah. gives them an opportunity. Yeah, to do I, it. I think you're right in that. In definitely in that case, you know, they go to training and you know, the the some of them will just be home. You know, maybe you know an hour after training's finished or mm. whatever. Um, in this environment, they'll be around each other. They'll have to you know socialize with each other, or, or if not, but they'll be they'll be around each other for a few days. And I think that's what they need because some of the talk coming out of the club is that it's the the poorest te you know team spirit for a long time. But that's that's understandable because in the last twelve to eighteen months we've had you've had a completely new, nearly new squad. Four managers, and, yeah, and four <laughs> managers. If you look at that squad, it has been absolutely torn up and ripped mm. apart, and. And there's not much left. There isn't much yeah. left at all. Of course, you've got a few senior players, the likes of Seamus Coleman, obviously he's back now, Jags and, and Baines. But obviously for a long time it was just Jags in the first team, you know, recently, um, and Baines. So and then you've got young players, of course, but, but Baines has been off in there for that, months. Yeah. But then you've got so you've got young players and are the young players willing to fill those gaps that were left by the likes of Leon Osman and Tony Hibbert and these people who were supposed to always around and were always you know you the first thing you'd always hear when a player signed was oh yeah Ozzy and Jags or Ozzy and Baines or whatever have you know took me aside and told me about the club or took to help me Go. set help me settle in and all that and you just wonder whether that's been there for the last year or so so players have players come in and and I think what happens is and again there's evidence of this is players come in and if there isn't a unified dressing room, they go into their own little cliques. So we know there's been a sort of Morales, Snydlin, Garner, sort of Nias, sort of... Nias is the prince, he can do what he wants. But 
almost like a little click and if you so if you've got and that's obviously because French speaking and stuff so if you've got clicks that are not positive mm. that's going to create that could create bad feeling in the dressing room and if you've got too many of them that's a problem but you want the dressing room to be as a whole Moise loved it that was his big thing mm. he'd take the players away in the summer Austria and then like the States get them all together working hard get that team spirit get players bonded make sure they will I mean let's be honest when we qualified fourth and we qualified for the Europa League uh, for the Champions League qualifiers Moyes ordered them out that night after Liverpool mm. had got beat by Arsenal he ordered them out yeah, he yeah. rung every single one of them and said "Be meet me meet here now or meet here at 7 o'clock in town we're going out we're celebrating this and that's why we got beat fucking 7 nil by Arsenal mm. because they were all still blathered but he wasn't in, he wasn't asked because he knew that was the time to celebrate that was the time that night hit the net you know strike, strike while the iron's hot it didn't matter what happened after that We mm. that was that place was guaranteed it didn't matter we lost at Arsenal it matter we lost at Bolton mm. it didn't matter that was the that was the day we were celebrating that fact we were going out that was again galvanising that was the reward that was him giving them because he knows at the end of the season they're all, they all go away they all go on holiday yeah. that night was I'm reward. I'm rewarding my team you worked hard for me you can go out tonight I'm not interested if there's two games like you go out tonight and you celebrate I was t- told you before about the thing about Callum McManaman um, mm. about the article of the FA Cup saying couldn't even celebrate it because three three days later he had a they had a game against Ar- Arsenal for the mm. um to try and stay up and obviously they got beat and he said you know we've won the FA Cup we can't celebrate it and then we've gone to Arsenal and got beat and it's gone that is gone and he said he's never been into he's never had a moment like it in his life because his career's tailed off so it's about rewarding players and about um, create, getting that team spirit which is huge because mm-hmm. players have said it and I think this week will will hopefully really help that just listen you know if Let's say someone like Young Tokes, and I know people have got. I know people will be thinking, "Well, hang on, he's been at the club a few weeks. He should know each. You know, he should know everybody." But again, if he's if he's at the club and he's staying in the Hilton, I'm not sure he's still in the Hilton. But say he's staying in the Hilton, how does he how does he socialise with people? Do you know what I mean? If he he might have might have got mates in the club, you know established links and he's got you know tentative friendships with people but how does he go oh, do you fancy oh come round to ours we was in a hotel do you know what I mean little things like that it's all it's, you're right Moyes was the master of it you know that was the one thing he'd done he'd unite that session and get as many people the close knit as he can because then they look after each other and you know Tim Kyle saying don't grab them when he came in and Alan Stubbs and people like that and you know this is you know this is what we do here and this is mm. what it means to play forever and then Kale took that over and Arteta and stuff like you know and they fested Leon Osman they kept that going and you're right we had that for so many years it carried through because this time came in and then it was him and Jags and this time was a big mm. one of them in the dressing room and this is what it means to play forever and it's, it's mad when you think of it but he took that mantle over and he still Tim says Howard as well. he still says we yeah. This time when you see him talking on Twitter, and yeah. we need to do this. I mean, Tim Howard, to be fair to Tim Howard, he was, and they all bought into mm. it, so they were all Phil, Phil Neville. Yeah. I know he's a, he but it, spouts a bit of shit, yeah. but he also was very good at that, very the togetherness. But it's easier, isn't it? Because if you're all like that, and mm. someone comes in, mm. then it's all like, you've got to become like us. You become one of us. You've got to become yeah. one of us, and it's easy because you come in, you become one of us. Mm. Whereas I feel at the moment, and it's also easy to pass the baton on, when everyone's doing it because if you've got someone like you just said you've got a Duncan and a Stubbs and they're in the dressing room they're like passing the baton on to a Leon, Leon Osman mm. it's who you pass the baton on to next and I don't think we've had anyone to, we have to pass okay Jags is there and Baines but come on Jags and Baines are not they don't see well, they might but if they're two voices but what in I mean the, is in though, a squad of 20 yeah. though if it's me and you yeah. in a room and of 20 else. lads and we're going this is what it means to, and they're like four of them are a friend or four or, or whatever it is they're together yeah. and they're like mm, yeah well it's just a job to us whereas if you walk in and, and there's everyone. eight nine ten of the team are going this is what it means to wear that you don't do that here you don't need and this you, you only have to read different things where they mm-hmm. grab players and gone that does not near yeah. and those players very quickly go right oh yeah. Fellaini brought right into it he was grabbed a couple of times early on it was listen mate 
uh-uh, he yeah. don't do that at this club. Yeah. And that's why he was the next minute, he yeah. was going through brick walls forever. And to be fair to Maraman Fellaini, I know he, he was vocal in the press just the way he done fuckers are, but he give every, never, i never, bar Wigan at home in the quarter final mm-hmm. of the cup, very rarely did he ever wander around the pitch looking not arsed. He always had a go for everything. But even though, even players, I think anyone who played for Moyes, the way they still, someone like Heitinger, mm. you know, even him now, you still see him on social media, and it's still, he's still, he is, he's, he's sweet stuff about Everton. He'll tweet stuff about Everton, and, and it's Everton, and this and that, and it's, you don't, you don't feel like other people take, you know, feel like players of different eras after, you know, don't have that, sort of still have that respect, it hasn't been drilled mm-hmm. into them, what Everton's all about. And as I said, you know, you have someone like Jags and, Jags, I mean, Jags is great, he's very outgoing and he's, you know, that seems he's a, you know, but him and Baines, I don't know whether they can, whether whether they will always get that message over because it's only the two, as like you said. It's a, it's a odd, this is an odd mix of players, isn't mm-hmm. it? Because there's a lot of young I think it'll help now Seamus is back. Yeah, there's a, that's what I'm saying. And Chip, and it's he's a leader Seamus won't have been training with them every day so it's yeah. hard to get that message over to him when you're just the lad in the gym on your own and mm. you're trying to work hard but when you're in training every day and the more of them there is and the more the likes of Tom Davies grow into that role and the more Kenny John Joe Kenny grows into that role and there's more of those kind of people around who suddenly because that's the other thing when when chips are down and it's hard and it's against you it's hard maybe to just get that bond and that mm. love for the club especially with the fans, you know, if they're if they're get if they're not with you, then I think it's 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 like anything. It's easy when it's going well. Dead easy, isn't mm. it? It's easy to make bond. It's easy to to get people on board. It's like you winning. You start winning. A manager comes in. You start winning games. Everyone jumps on board because what he's telling is right. The test is when you lose and how quickly they turn away from you. And you know, it's like the Martinez thing. He came in to an established team. And he put his little sprinkle on it. Be wrong to say he didn't in that first season, but we were well established. Everyone, everyone was well drilled, mm. and people jumped on board with these new ideas because we were winning games and we were doing well. And it was like this is a perfect hybrid. This you've got Moyes's defence and Martinez's um, attack and flair. And where it went wrong for him was he bombed Distan up, didn't he? Mm. You know, we had the public fallout with Distan, and that just shows you the dressing room. Distan was a big character. He was well respected in that dressing room the players loved him mm. now rightly or wrongly that night Martinus was probably right he was shite that night at Swansea when we got beat 3-0 but he, but he cut him right out he, he didn't play again mm. until Derby the, was uh, no, Spurs at home last mm. day of the season for 10 minutes oh, yeah. and he wouldn't let him go to West Ham in the, in yeah. the January he totally bombed him and that lost Martinus loads respect. of respect and that probably was the start of it the wheels coming well off. we listen we know of the Eto situation and, and things like Eto that. And and stuff like that, because Eto realised quite quickly that he was a bluster fuck. Yeah. He was a blagger. But that's because the dressing room isn't united. Whereas if the dressing room is quite united, yet at times the players will be going, oh, fucking manager's a dickhead. But what you do is you go, well, yeah, but what you do is you mm. go, well, fuck him. Because, you know, forget about him. We're a team, aren't we? We're doing it for us, not so much him. And then that, sometimes you drag them back, they get back on board then. And I think it's just massive. Well, the other thing Man has did, you know, as well, is uh, but I mean, not, not this is a. I think this is a thing with a lot of managers, and they tend to be the managers don't ne- not necessarily have a lot of uh, success. Is they, they try and bomb the characters out mm. because they want to be the character. They want to be. be the big name, so they bomb the characters out of the club mm. and don't replace the characters. They bomb the, the 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 characters out or the leaders out and then replace them with sort of. Quite yeah. quiet, weaker <laughs> people who are, who don't have that leadership ability. I think that's what Martinez did. He, he he got rid of a lot of the leaders or pushed them up mm. to a side. Ah, oh, this this player is better than you, and he won't cause any trouble. And it's like, well, that doesn't always work. You need to you and need push this down off for John Stones. And as good as John Stones mm. was, and he was, he was really good for us. This then needed to be part of that as well because Stones was actually brilliant with this then. Well, like yeah, but that's that's you're absolutely right. You. I think any footballer would respect the fact that if he loses his place to a player who's better than him but what he wants is the opportunity to win to it back, it back yeah. so if you bomb him out completely then surely you're you're just you know you're cutting off your nose to spite your face mm-hmm. aren't you and I know there's a lot of managers will do it and that, that it does happen in football but 
you've got to leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room, haven't you, just to allow that person to come back. I just think it, it's, it is underrated, the team spirit. I think we all just expect I think the problem of fans have, is, uh, uh, have when we look at footballers is we all try to look at them like we look at it. Do you know what I mean? We all because we, it means that much to us as, as supporters. Well, it's our club and we love it. And this is the biggest club. You know, we should be re- loving this club. Mm-hmm. These players, it's, it's just a job. Whether we like it or not, it's a job, and they're never gonna feel the way we do about well, it. Well, I appreciate that, but and and you are right. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you know a player shouldn't come in and love. His surroundings and love what he does and loves, loves his team and his but team. But his team has to be a, his team. If you're an Everton player coming in now, right? Say you come in in the January transfer window. I bet you it's something. It, I know it, it's what Sam Allardyce has said. He'd never seen such a disjointed mm. team in terms of but it's, not being close to it, because, like you've rightly said, the turnover in players. Mm. You just dump the whole set of people just in this room now. You start a job and you're going, I don't really know anyone here and, and oh, yeah, you're all right, yeah, my name's... Not. And you might think, oh, he's sound him. After two days, you might go, well, he's, I don't, he's a knob, I don't want to talk to him. He was all right when he yeah. first came in. And I, but if you've got someone who's bonding, getting it all together, this is what... And ironically, this fella will make them bond as a team, whether people like him or not, and want him gone or not, whatever. Yeah. But for the next three months he's our manager and he will try to have because he realises the importance of, of that team spirit mm. where I think some managers will look and go you professional just get on with it and I don't mm. think that always works especially in a football dressing room where there's egos but there's a lot to be said for the old school approaches of things isn't it and, and letting people go away and airing the problems you know letting them go for a couple of drinks and, and airing the problems if you've got a, a you know like you just said the Kendall thing, taking them all out to Southport to the Chinese and them having a couple of drinks and letting, you know, almost just at times just lads, there you go. Like saying, listen, you know, you could say to me, listen, I'm bombing forward, you're not you're not tracking back and I'm like, well, you should be fucking giving me. I thought you were talking about this then. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. That's a pay to an only one. Um, no, but that kind of thing, isn't yeah. it? Or it your pet throw it and I'll always be in at the back pot we might not have those opportunities to talk like that in training because things go on Davy Classen might never have had the opportunity to sit down properly with Sam Allardyce away from everything and go Gaffer why have I not even got on the bench why tell me what I need to do like you've said many a time Allardyce might simply not have had the but time but the other thing is, is well, like, like, yeah well you're right there but the other thing is for all we know is Allardyce might have they're all on a plane for a few hours together Oh, they're all sitting in a room, I don't know, Manchester Airport waiting to fly off. And Alice might just sit them down and go, listen, clean sheet after today. Mm. You know, there's the line, that's the line now. Go out and show me this week. You know, this, you might go, listen, I'll give you an opportunity. You're going away to Dubai. We're going to work hard. I'll give you, an, I'll give you a few opportunities to go out and have a few, have a few drinks mm. over the weekend. We'll train hard all week, you go out at the weekend, you can have a few drinks and then we'll come on home, right? You'll have a day off and then you're back in training, right? But what I want to see is you're working hard all week and your classes and, I don't know, Vlasic, Vlasic and, and Garbett and Tosin, I want to I wanna, I wanna see you working hard, I want to see you putting it in. This is the week where you, we, we work double sessions, we work our balls No off. gain to focus yeah. on. And at the end of the week, you can all go and have a few bevies. And you're in Dubai for a start, you can go and see whatever you want, you can go and see all the nice things there and go and do a bit of shopping or whatever, whatever. But I, you, we work, you work hard on the training pitch and you work hard for the last, you know, just, just under third of the season. Mm. You work hard and you put it in and this is the kickstart the re- that end of the season where we pick up results and then that mm. that's up to you isn't it and then and then if he promised them things to those players like class and like Tolson or whatever you know work hard and I'll give you a chance and if he if he if he you know doesn't match those promises let's say then he's made a rod for his own back hasn't he so mm. um I don't think it is a reward I think it's for the best of the players, it's that we've done it. 
loads of times now. Moyes just took them to Tenerife and different play Gran Canaria and it's happened up. I mean, the flip side obviously is you don't want what's happened to West Brom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't that would be something to talk about. I mean, they? that's the thing. You know, they've gone away. I mean, it's bizarre. Anyway, the timing of the whole thing was bizarre. They had a game on Monday night, and yet they still went away before a cup game. So they've mm-hmm. gone away for three days and back, and, and obviously beat. getting beat and robbing. Well, oh, sorry, taking taxis may or may not have had the permission to do so. Uh, don't think well, it, you know, it doesn't matter say, either way, does it? Allegedly, um, even if they'd had permission, they were drunk. Well, the, well allegedly, and um, and then obviously to come home and then to get beaten the cup, it made that the spotlight then. But ironically, their fans were still backing them, which is mad. Mm. So I just think it's something most teams try to do. It, it's not a reward. You've just got to look at it as it's another another play. If, if it, this gets Everton. In, an improvement for the rest of the season I've got no issue the way I look at it is right when they go pre-season somewhere is that a reward mm. or are they working hard in a tough climate in, in brilliant facilities Sam Allardyce said look we can go there we can train and then we do the double sessions and then the injured lads can do three sessions a day which they wouldn't do at home so in the night they can be working with the physios still to aid their recovery and get them so that's better for us as fans because we want to see our best team on the pitch so if Seamus Coleman has got a slight injury he can get treatment three times a day whereas at home he'd have a bit of Finch Farm come in tomorrow how are you Seamus whereas it's mm. listen can I have a bit more ultrasound tonight and then yeah. oh, legs feeling alright you know we might get him back a bit quicker Baines you know Baines is back in the, I mean you see him running with the gas on his I don't know I don't know whether it's Cooper Martina had a uh, thought he looks like he's nearly yeah. fit bang and done him with his studs who'd have missed but oh, well you know not with his right foot, with his left he'd have missed. Um, so there's all of them, there's all of those opportunities to be together and and to get that extra bit of training, bit of information. If you're bored, you can go and sit with that Ryle and Morgan and go, listen, what are my stats for this or what am I doing? If this, what they should be doing. And then the downtime, when you go out oh, look like fucking Miami Vice, oh, then that's up to them, Dom isn't it? Dom, Dom and Tom. I mean, Dom and Tom. I've seen people moaning about it, but... You can't moan. Why would you moan if about the that? lad has got the balls to throw that at you? With listen, his shirt wide open. The only thing I'm devastated we never got to see is have you ever seen those pictures of that lad on holiday and he geared out in like the bear house thing? The bear house and everything. Thing. I wanted to see Man's not hot. John Joe like that. Full North East. Full North Just the full the full whack. Mm. Do you know with what I mean? Man's not hot underneath it. Not hot. No, I, no, I think, but that was good. Even the little Instagram stuff, that was like Tosin's there and they're having, yeah. and you just think that's good because he, someone like him, probably needs that more. Have than you ever been? Anybody. Have you ever been like away with it, like to a stag do or something mm. or whatever with people you you don't know them, and then you get home two days later and you're like the best mate. Like you, you like you just have that bond. And you, you're, you you're, you're, you're in a situation where. You're out, you're out together, you're going to get to know someone very, very quickly, whether mm. you like them or not. And you, you share an experience with them, and the next minute you're like, you, you, okay, you might be the best mates forever, but for that weekend, you're, you, you get know, on well and they take all. that now, they take that, they might go, oh, you know, I don't know, they might find out the old, like, Corrie or something, Tosin's a massive Corrie fan, or, or Emmerdale That's or something, nice, you know what I mean? Well, dancing, yeah. And suddenly you're like, well, you, no, we also, the video of them singing, they might have gone up singing on the old karaoke and all that. Boss, yeah, exactly, it? and they might be like, "This is, you know, share a few, have a, a few, a few laughs with each other." And then suddenly they're like, oh, "Can I didn't realise you like that old? Let, let's become. Did we just become best friends?" <laughs> no, but that's the thing, isn't it? Which you wouldn't do. You're putting them in that environment, which they wouldn't probably do because, at the end of the day, as much as we want to think, oh, they all get on great, mm-hmm. the footballers from my team, and they love each other and all that. They're just lads going into work and going home, aren't they? Yeah. Whether we like it or not, that's what they're doing. So the opportunity is being away with, done a bit, you know, when play for Merseyside, and they, you play kick, kick seven bells out of each other, and, the, and then you'd go away at these tournaments, and you'd, you're with them all the time, the lads, and then you come home and you're like, next time you play them, oh, I'm going to kick him as hard because he's sound. Or, well, you know, that kind of bond comes together from being away, and it's that's how it is. And, and I think, for me, if it helps us, then it's sound, but I'm not sitting there going, not best, they yeah. shouldn't have gone. I'm just thinking, just get ourselves sorted for Watford, because that's the next one. Watford is the next one. If we beat Watford away, then you're looking at, you know, 37 points, 
you think in another cup you know for me we've got Watford and Stoke away haven't we so Stoke uh, Watford and Burnley yeah, yeah. Watford and Burnley sorry Stoke after so Watford and Burnley we get four points out the next six fantastic return and then beat Brighton at home it's, it's done isn't it you know when you can start thinking of other things then but I just think people always find something to moan about and I don't really see that this is anything to moan about it's mm. I think people are frustrated, aren't they? But if we end up seven, Snyder hasn't even gone. If he'd gone, then I would be kicking off. He hasn't even gone. It's, but that's I find that mad. Don't you find that a bit mad? Because if any, if anybody, if anyone at the club needs, well, from the outside looking in, you feel needs to, I don't know, do an interview, get a, get a bit involved with other pe- people, and and for fans to see them working hard and training. If he's not. He's the if he's not going to be included in anything for the rest of the season, fair enough. If the manager's gone, he's bombed now. Fair enough, but he's not. So why isn't he there with them? Well, Wayne hasn't gone because obviously... Wayne hasn't gone because he just had the baby. That's, that's, fair fair enough. that's fair enough, but why is Morgan Snyder not gone? Just because the fans have given him a hard time. Makes no sense to me, that. Makes absolutely no sense. And well, if he's got something going on in his, pri- his private life, personal life, then the club needs to just say, listen, he's and then oh, fans can go, well, well no wonder his head's not in the right place. Yeah. You can, you're giving him an excuse, but by not saying anything and then he's not on the trip. Well, I don't know. I, I, has it been 100%? Think, well, someone said to me the other day that he's at Finch him Farm. and Rooney are at Finch Farm. So you wonder, you're wondering what he's not. Those videos, he's having a straightener with him every those day. Those videos in the training, there's I've not been any of them, them, and they've showed everybody on mm-hmm. them. He has me out on them. And what you want to see is, fuck, I mean, I'd I've switched off, there. but what I've seen is. Looks like people working hard in 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 the sunshine and you know in the hot conditions, so they're going through it. And that's what that's as a fan. If you were to if I was to see a video of Snyder working his bollocks off and maybe doing an interview where he said, you know what, I'm tr- I am trying. I'm tr- I'm working hard. Plan. I'm trying. Or even doesn't even have to do an interview because you know. But if you see him working hard, then you go, and he's working hard at least. At least he's working at something. Um, I don't know. I ain't tough on him because I know he's he's give us more than enough reasons to be fuming with him. But yeah. imagine if he's just having one of those seasons where it, it's just not happening for him. He's really out of form. Do you know what I mean? Sutton's mad, isn't good it? Players don't know. Sutton's at, yeah, but he was good last year, wasn't he? Very good. Mm. So what's happened? I don't know. If something has happened. But now, just to reiterate yeah. before we finish, I've got no issue with the Dubai thing, and hopefully we, it'll just refresh us now for yeah. for the last for the eleven games. Hopefully they're all best mates forever. Well, best mates till May will do, <laughs> won't it? Just get some wins, yeah. you know, get some performances, and like you say, it's, it, hopefully it's given a few of them a chance to clear the air. Hopefully it's given Sam Allardyce some time to sit down with the likes of Classen and say, "This is what you need to do to get in my yeah. thinking and, and Tosin." Looking sharp, Evan have released a video today where he's banging goals in. in tra- I know it's only training, but the fact that they're, they're like dealing with that situation, mm-hmm. which is what they should be doing, which is why Snyder and doing some push ups should be alright. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if we, you know, if we can refresh us for the last part of the season, then it's been a good trip. Yeah. And if Mason Oke can stop wasting champagne as well, just drink it. He's not gonna pour it. He likes his hair. Not put champagne. I'm in a bar. And say me appear, pay me or whatever. Not press anyone. Is that? Is it really? No. Say she wants to like give him the owl, have a little bit of tonsil tennis later on. She can just smell champagne in his head. It's just gonna kill the moment, isn't it? I don't know. Give us your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts in the comments on what makes an old gate champagne exploit. Yeah. Yeah. I like. It. Yeah. People will. Like. People will. People will. Yeah. People will. Yeah. Uh, don't forget if you haven't already subscribed please do click the bell for alerts so you know exactly when a video has been released and if you want more videos join us on Patreon we'll see you later